Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. Today is number 19 in the Brussels Beer Project Advent Calendar. I am still Cedric and yeah, I'm getting curiouser and curiouser by the moment, by the day, um, to see what they have in store for us next. Uh, and I'm hoping this is building up to a huge climax of awesome beer. Uh, so let's dive right in. Today is number 19. I saw it here, the little dog riding around with a bag of malts. I see a glass bottle with a cap that is not a Brussels Beer Project logo. It's also a different kind of bottle. Oh, it's a beautiful label. It has a temple on it in a floating island, which is, yeah, quite fitting for the beer because it's called Temple du Ciel or, uh, yeah, Temple in the Sky or Temple, temple in Heaven. And it is a tea pale ale. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna like this. I love tea. Uh, one of my favorite beers is by Again, Antwerp uh, Brewing Company, the Miss Tea, uh, as it used to be called, but it's uh, called Lucy now. And this beer is from Brasserie L'Hermitage. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know any of them, uh, of their beers. I, I only know the name L'Hermitage. I know that they're fairly new, very new actually, very young. Um, started out with some friends, I believe, and yeah, they call themselves a nano brasserie, uh, so a nano brewery. Um, yeah, that says enough. Let's see. Again, it's in French, so not my forte. Fruit d'une collaboration avec le septième tasse cette bière. Okay, so this is the uh, the fruit of a collaboration. A pale ale with European hops and tea. Apparently we should recognize some yellow prunes, some blueberries, uh, cassis, green tea, white tea, Chinese white tea, a rich collection of flavors, Okay, softened with the white tea. Cool. Well, they are selling it. Uh, <laughs> and I'm a sucker for, uh, for tea, always have been, so yeah, let's dive right in. But before that, look at this lovely, lovely label. Let's open this one up. Oh. Clean up on aisle four. And we're back. After this little gushing incident, I cleaned up the table and yeah, all the more ready to taste now. There we go. It's rather clear, a bit of yeast in there. Still very active. A nice head of foam. It's rather hazy. Pretty aromatic. Now, keep in mind, we should recognize some yellow plums, black currants, and blueberries in this beer. And it is infused with some white and green tea. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Absolutely like that. A lot of carbon dioxide is present there. There's a bit of fruitiness and I wouldn't necessarily say that I recognize all the the fruits that they tell us about. I do taste a bit of the berries, but I mainly taste uh, the tea in this beer, which is um, surprising because most of the time the tea is uh, is a taste in tea infused beers that's um, yeah that falls back to the back uh, the background actually. Tea is mainly very present in the uh, the aftertaste. And I do taste a bit of the plums, but mainly the, the black currants when I let the beer really roll over the tongue. When I, when the beer uh, reaches the back of the tongue, it's uh, it's way more present. Yeah. Very well. I must admit that this is a very good beer and I seem to recall that L'Hermitage has a, a very wide range of beers so it is well worth checking out uh, and I know I've said that before uh, the past few weeks but I must honestly admit that um, none of the breweries that the Brussels Beer Project included in this box um, have let me down in any way so yeah I will be looking into well all of them up until now um, and I think that some pleasant surprises await us yeah this is a keeper I think I'm gonna order some of these because it does combine my two favorite drinks beer and tea and it does so in a very balanced and very um, very well crafted way also yeah again I am a sucker for these simple serene pretty uh, illustrations this one actually reminds me uh, kind of a uh, of the style of one of my favorite uh, illustrators by the name of Poodle Soup or uh, Stéphanie de Henne from Belgium uh, yeah okay that was it guys this is gonna be a short one um, except for the the gushing and the cleaning and I believe I'm afraid that the uh, the recording of this video was quite a bit longer <laughs> than it was supposed to be but the video itself will turn out a bit shorter so yeah as usual comment like subscribe do whatever you want and yeah go out and, and look keep be on the lookout for this uh, this brewery because i think they have some pretty nice uh, beers in store for us i'm gonna enjoy this a bit further and yeah as usual i'll see you guys tomorrow for number 20. cheers everyone <laughs>